Once upon a time, there existed a kingdom ruled by a beloved queen. Neighboring the kingdom was a vast weld known as the Great Forest. Hidden deep within the Great Forest was a people that had been isolated from the kingdom for years, populated by beautiful women who adorned themselves with the feathers of swans. Princess Odette, the most lovely of these swan people, was once the caring leader of the swans. That is, until the power-hungry Odile and her autocratic Black Swan Collective took control over the populace by force. For years, Odette and her friends had lived in fear of Odile, but the swan's conditions would soon face a change. Back in the kingdom, the time had come for the greatly admired Prince Siegfried to marry. Anxious to find a suitable bride for her son, the queen organized a grand ball and invited maiden representatives from all lands near and far. Siegfried, however, was reluctant, and hoping to take his mind off the ball, went hunting deep in the great forest. Siegfried soon saw what appeared to be a swan, but as he drew closer, he discovered that, to his surprise, it was actually a beautiful woman, Princess Odette. The two fell in love and Odette gave one of her feathers to Siegfried as a pledge of their love. However, Odile soon discovered the pair, and immediately became fearful that Odette, marrying the prince of the kingdom, would pose a threat to her power over the swans. Desperate to sabotage their relationship, Odile planned to have the Black Swan Collective attend the ball as representatives of the swan people, while she herself posed as Odette dressed in the Black Swan garb. If successful, the prince would unwittingly marry Odile, further securing her power over the swan people and ensuring Odette would never be free. Will Odile be successful, or will Siegfried remember the pledge that he made with the true Odette that would promise happiness to her and her people?